from the Football Game Plan Scout Team. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook. And now that the 2021 NFL Draft is complete, let's take a look back and see how well these teams did this past April. With rookie minicamps done and the 90-man roster with the undrafted free agents locked in as they headed to training camp, let's evaluate the entire class and hand out a grade. So without further ado, let's take a look at the Football Game Plan Scouting grading scale to see what these numbers next to the prospects actually mean. It looks like defense was the main focus for the Arizona Cardinals in a 2021 NFL draft with only two selections on the offensive side of football. But when you look at someone on defense, Marco Wilson, a corner out of Florida, solid corner, has a chance to rehabilitate his image. He's a good football player. And Victor Demukeje out of Duke, tremendous point of attack player coming from the ACC. But what I like most about this draft, Zavian Collins, the outstanding linebacker, is a bigger, thicker version of Isaiah Simmons. So they have two uber athletic guys that can play the run, they can drop back in coverage, they can do multiple things, just keeps your defense versatile. I also am a big fan of the Rondell Moore selection. The only thing that concerns me is health. If he's healthy, this was a home run pick because he's tremendous, he could put the ball in the paint, but health has been his bugaboo since breaking out at Purdue. But if he's healthy, he just adds yet another playmaker for Kyle Murray. And later in the draft, I'm talking about sixth and seventh round, Plucking some tremendous talent. Tay Godwin out of UCF for a taller corner has fantastic footwork and can mirror and match with wide receivers. James Wiggins out of Cincinnati can play either safety spot and has fantastic football IQ. They were able to get him late in the draft. And Michael Minnett out of Penn State, tremendous strength at the point of attack, a dynamic player in terms of the run blocking department. He wrestles with these defensive linemen and able to turn them to either side to create a lane for the tailback. So getting those three picks at the back end of the draft was outstanding in my opinion. Now let's take a look at the undrafted rookie free agent that has a great chance to make the roster. Lorenzo Burns, the corner out of Arizona. They love those local products, don't they? Last year, it was Jace Whitaker who ended up playing in a regular season for them. They got him as an undrafted free agent from Arizona. Lorenzo Burns is next in line. He was my number two slot corner, has fantastic footwork and quickness. His feet are a quiet pitter patter and he can snap out of a pack pedal when driving on a route that's in front of him, has the lateral agility and quickness of a point guard and can mirror and match with wide outs across the board, and he can be an A-plus blitzer. He's a tough and physical player despite his size limitations and will aggressively fight off blocks and is a solid form tackler as well. I'm giving the Cardinals an A for their draft, getting Lorenzo Burns as an undrafted free agent who had an 84 grade. You look at Michael Minnett and Zayvon Collins in the regular draft, two guys over 80 amongst the top at their position and finding Tay Gowan late, a taller corner that can mirror and match, has the footwork that you want on the outside. This was a bang up job for Arizona. They addressed the defense, which was probably the biggest weakness on that team. They did a lot of work in free agency. So going into the draft, they were able to pinpoint and target specific types. And I think they nailed those picks in April. So that's it for this edition of Football Game Plan Scout Team. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Be sure to follow me on all of my social media accounts. And don't forget to check out and subscribe to the Football Game Plan Network located at youtube.com slash football game plan. Also subscribe on iTunes to Football Game Plan Podcast and leave us a five-star rating. Wow.